and we're looking to sell it as is. The tarp is because there's a crack in the AC housing, just the cover on the roof. All right, so we picked up this uh, coachman to do some work to it, and instead we ended up acquiring a, a different truck camper. Uh, there's a lot of things I like about this one better than the one we have, but I'm looking to see if someone wants to take this on, or well, maybe we'll we'll part it out. Um, so it has an aluminum frame. It's a Coachman uh, Rancher, uh, late 90s, I believe, maybe early 2000s. Uh, yes, yeah, so it actually has the, the aluminum metal frame. Uh, it ended up getting transported by a flatbed uh, our, um, car hauler, and of course they just pulled it on and it popped all the jacks off, so they have to be put back on. There is some damage uh, on the wood uh, from stuff that needs to be sealed, but because it has the metal frame, it still is much easier than dealing without them. Uh, it has the six gallon water heater. I'm waiting to see if the cat goes in. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> uh, place for the dual propane tanks, 20 pound propane tanks. So that's nice, the dual propane tanks. It is generator ready. So you can uh, hook up a propane generator, if go right in there, all ready for it. A little slower. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a compartment. Yep, yeah, so. okay. <laughs> okay. Um, electric Atwood jacks come with it. A uh, nice awning. Oh, haven't opened it yet. We can give that a try if you want. We have uh, a, do we have a, oh, it's the pull it's down kind. Yeah, yeah, we can so. do that. Um, we'll take a look inside quick, and then we'll see if we can open it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. It has a... Uh, what is that thing on the table? Oh, it's just some stuff that got left behind by someone else. So it's, it hasn't even been cleaned out yet. Does that help? Yes. Um... So it has a nice uh, U-shaped dinette that can be made up into a bed. It has a fold-down bed here, a pull-down extra bed, bunk storage area. Two hands, two hands. Yeah, take two yeah. hands. So, um, so that's a nice, a nice extra feature. I'm gonna put it back up. Watch yourself. Yeah. Do I need to go? Okay. Keep going. Large cupboard. Actually, it's got a few, a few large storage areas. This is a, a wardrobe area in there. That's the pull down for the uh, awning, the hook mm -hmm. to pull the awning down. Yeah. Drawer storage space underneath. A um, three burner stove with oven. It's actually pretty clean. Yep, clean. Uh, they had a microwave here. This would just take any, you know, microwave could be plugged in there. Power jack. Uh, some nice uh, storage cabinets up top. Lots of storage room. This uh, this is a pretty decent uh, bunk space as far as when you get up here, you can you can sit up. Some of them you can't sit up in uh, unless you're really tall, then you might have a bit of an issue. Uh, nice under storage under there uh, and up the front and on this side behind me you come around the other side mm -hmm. oh a little a little storage above there i'm not going to open all these mm -hmm. a another small wardrobe uh, unit here so that's kind of nice there too mm -hmm. uh the fridge it's a uh, three-way gas 110 i think it's a three-way might be a two-way electric and gas. Yeah, it might just be a two-way fridge. Um, Dometic. Yeah, Dometic. So they're still making them. It's plugged in right now, so we can see if it works. And a nice uh, AC uh, and heater. I had this uh, going earlier. It felt like it was getting cold the longer it went, so. And uh, the bathroom. Yeah, I, actually, the bathroom is really nice if I get in there. Stable um, light. 
it's one of the biggest wet baths that I've been in, mm -hmm. in a truck camper, uh, with, with no slide outs. And, uh, you know, it needs to be clean. Yeah, it needs to be clean, but there's, there's, there's plenty no of room. Some of them you're like tripping on, you know, you, 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 you're trying to stand over stuff that when you're trying to wash this one. You stand right there. You, you have plenty of room when you stand there. And so it's actually a really nice, for that reason alone, this is a, a nice, you know, that's a, one of the nicest wet baths I've seen. The flooring's actually, uh, there are no cracks in it. It's just filthy. And there's a storage under. Yeah, because it has the tanks. The tanks are all underneath. Um, it did, when they, they loaded it, you can see some of the pipes popped apart under there. So they need to be put back together. Um, and, you know, it did have some water issues at one point. So it's it, it needs a lot of work, but it has a lot of the features that you might be looking for as far as it has the AC generator ready. It has the fridge. It has the... So I feel like... Um, you know, you could just put, probably going to have to, if you're going to not part it out, you're you probably put, just going to have to put like a yeah, you put like diamond a, plate or something. A little bit of, yeah, a diamond plate and then an angle iron bracket. And then uh, you could just seal all that back up. Other than the corners that the person that hauled it, and it wasn't the guy necessarily that we hired. It was, it was a combination of two. It was the you one getting it to the auction and it was the one bringing it from the auction. But the skin... Is actually in really good shape like if you look most of it yeah, all of it good. just it's in it's actually mm. even the yep. windows they could use a little resealing but they look pretty good you know so so it needs uh, it needs some addressing but because it has the aluminum frame you aren't getting into something when you open it up that you know if the, you have to replace some wood even under the, here the structure isn't. still uh, gonna be intact this is just for the the tarp on the top um, when we opened this up we noted that there was steel just the bottom the base has I was a steel checking frame. It, I was checking it with a magnet so the bottom cross braces under the tank is steel but the side rail which you'll see over here that comes up I checked it with a magnet that's aluminum so they just did that lower piece in, in steel that would sit on the truck. And so you can see that water had gotten in there because of a bit of rust. But uh, the... Um, okay. Yeah. Did you put that shim in? Yeah, I was just trying to open it up. I need, you know, because some of this... Uh, back side of the jack was there so I was trying to get that out oh, to take the jack off to take the jack to get it out to put the jack piece back on but you know I said if uh, if nobody wants this as is I'm gonna part it out because between the awning the AC the uh, refrigerator the stove the jacks alone I mean these jacks alone the electric uh, jacks are you know pretty expensive the the furnace heater on it all all those items work I'll just part it out and then I'll scrap the aluminum. The aluminum alone's probably, uh, you know, Let's open the... close to a thousand dollars. You want to open so, it? Yeah, we can try and open that. Let's see what it looks like. Let me grab the handle. What do you think, Wilbert? Do we keep it? Nope. So, um, I'll do a quick tour under. This could be a real surprise. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what this is going to be like. that probably hasn't been used for a while, so. Let's 
Is that button on the top supposed to get pressed in? Who knows when the last time this one was actually open, right? Yep. There it goes. Oh, this one's wanting to go. You can do it, honey. But I haven't gotten this one to budge yet. I had a problem with getting that one freed up the first time I did it, too. Well, he's working on that. That's the outside door. It's just filthy. It needs to be cleaned. I think it'll clean right up. And I didn't get a picture of all the controls. Oh boy. Pulled the hammer out. earlier. Okay, maybe we won't be opening the awning. <laughs> just, I don't blame you. He's working on that. I'm just going to say goodbye. <laughs> if you're interested, give a call. All the instructions on the listing. Up. I can't tell because you can't really get in behind it, you know. So I can't tell if it's not going in, not coming out, what the deal is. I just know it's not going up. What were we told by the camper places? Everybody wants an awning. And nobody uses it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're told. <laughs>